What's good, what's good? It's Dex You. I am your host, Dex, a.k.a. Mr. Unbiased. I'm in football mode, man. Finally in football mode. So I'm at the gym this morning, and I'll over here. Actually, before I get into that, click the like button, subscribe to my shit, man, and tell a friend, man. Everybody know I live in Texas, Dallas, Texas. Denton, to be exact. Shout out to Denton, Texas, my small town. Everybody know I'm a Texas native, a DF Dub native. So it's hard for me to have you know conversations about sports without hearing uh, about the Dallas Cowboys everybody know and if you don't know you know now that I, I don't I don't like Cowboy fans I, I dislike them there's no love for them none none there's no love for Dallas Cowboy fans I I, I don't like them I don't have nothing against the the, the, the Cowboys, the, the team, I don't have anything against them. I actually like them. Big fan. I like Dak Prescott. I like Zeke. I like what they got going on over there. But there's no love for the fans. They're delusional. They're asinine. They're, they're front runners. Um, I hate them. <laughs> so I'm at the gym, man, getting some cardio out the way, man, trying to, trying to get cut up, bro. I'm actually kind of weak right now, and I haven't had any carbs today. And I'm regretting it because I'm, I'm, I'm real weak, dog. But anyway, I'm at the gym getting my cardio out the way. And I overhear these dudes that think they know sports. They over here to <laughs> I overhear these dudes talking about sports. I'm not going to say that, man. That's rude. I overhear these dudes talking about sports. Some people might say, might say Dex think he knows sports. That's a lie, though. I really know this shit. I overhear these guys talking about sports. They're talking about Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. And they are ripping Dak Prescott up. I mean, they, bro, talking bad about Dak Prescott, man. And they they know I, I podcast, so I walked by. And, of course, they they asked me, what do you think about this? I didn't tell them what I really thought. I didn't tell them what I wanted to say. I saved that for Dak to you because as I heard them guys talking down on my boy Dak Prescott, it clicked in my mind. As soon as I get home, I'm going in because I got some shit to say. Cowboy fans, they've been on this on this bullshit since Dak Prescott got since he got the starting position his rookie season. Actually, they was on his nuts his rookie season, and after that, they cut ties with him. Oh, he sucks. He'll never be better than Tony Romo. He'll never do what Tony Romo did. What did Tony Romo do? For you to say Dak Prescott will never be better than Tony Romo, that's not saying much. What did Tony Romo actually accomplish? You're talking all that shit, man. Dak Prescott been in the league three years. He's probably already better than Tony Romo, in my opinion. Rookie season, rookie of the year, 13-3. and Should have probably got MVP that year, but, you know, the numbers just wasn't there. But he played awesome. He came into a great situation. That was my thing. I was kind of hating on Dak his rookie season. And it, it was his rookie season, so it's hard to judge a player. And he walked into a great situation, a great O-line. Ezekiel Elliott, we knew what Zeke was about. Uh, the Cowboys, th that team was already ready. That was Tony Romo's team. So Dak came into a great situation, but he played great too. He played up to expectations. Actually, he exceeded expectations. Because that playoff game against the Packers that they lost, guess what? It wasn't because of Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott played his ass off. I got the numbers right here. Dak Pre Prescott played his ass off against the Packers. 24 for 38, 63%. 300 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. The guy played his ass off. So my opinion, right now, yeah, Dak Prescott has shown me more than Tony Romo has shown me. Tony Romo was a better quarterback, but damn it, we've only seen a little bit of Dak Prescott. He's going to get better. He's only been in the league three years. He's going to get better. But it's something Dak Prescott got right now that Tony Romo never had and he never could possess, and that's nuts, and that's clutch. Tony Romo was never clutch. He was never there when his team really needed him. He never took over a game. He never won a big game. This is what Cowboy fans always hit me with. 24 comebacks, 29 game-winning drives. I don't remember none. I don't remember none. Not one. None in the playoffs. No for, none for the division. What, 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 why does it matter 24 comebacks, 29 game-winning drives? Well, who cares? 
if if 10 years, your 10 year tenure with the Dallas Cowboys, you didn't do nothing. That's all they got to say about these comeback wins and these game winning drives and what else would they say? His completion rating and, and all this. And that's people talking about Hall of Fame about Tony Romo. Hell no. They retired Dak Prescott number before they retired Tony Romo number. Three years, two division titles. It probably should be three because we know what happened the second year. Zeke got suspended six games. They still go nine and seven, a winning record. Dak has had a winning record all three years. How many eight and eight seasons did y'all have with Tony Romo? How many losing records did y'all have with Tony Romo? Probably not many losing records, but how many eight and eight seasons? I never seen champion in Tony Romo. Never seen that in his eyes. I never seen that on the field. I never see. I, I, I never. As long as he was the starting quarterback for the Cowboys, or if he would have left Dallas, whatever team he would have went to, I, I no no Super Bowl. I never seen Super Bowl in Tony Romo. Never. He don't got that. Dak Prescott is something about him, man. He might not throw the best spiral. He might miss a few fades. But when you really need him, when the game is on the line or when he need to make a play, Dak is going to make that play. He deserves his money. Like I said, he's not the most accurate he can hit Coop, though. He's probably going to miss a few, few throws here and there. But he's going to make some big ones, though. Dak is a winner. He's a gamer. And when a game is on the line, he will provide. He will show up. That's one area at quarterback that you have to check that clutch. If you want to win, especially a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, there's a lot of pressure on Dak Prescott. He came right in and delivered. His third year, everybody, the, the, the whole, I live in Dallas, I live in the DFW area. The fans are ripping him one because he's not playing up to snuff. Even though his wide receivers were Tavon Austin, Michael Gallup, and I don't even know these other niggas. They make the trade for Amari Cooper. Guess what? Cowboys catch lightning in a bottle. They winning, they ringing off wins left and right. Dak Prescott looks good all of a sudden. They go to the playoffs. They beat Seattle. Dak Prescott plays outstanding. They go to LA. A good playoff game against the Rams. Dak Prescott played outstanding. They lost that game, but guess what? It wasn't because of Dak Prescott. He had no control over the defense giving up 300 rushing yards. Dak Prescott played big in that game against the Rams. I don't want to hear nothing about this Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. Should I actually? I heard them dudes say, oh, man, if we had Tony Romo this year, man, I, I think we could go to the Super Bowl. Bro, first of all, Tony Romo would be 39. No. Dallas Cowboy fans... I'm not going to say all of y'all because I, I have talked to some Cowboy fans. They love Dak Prescott. But for the fans that, 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 that can't let Tony Romo go, sit hard, man. And before this season starts, sit hard and, and, and think about it and let it go. Let it go. Tony Romo, he had three eight and eight seasons in a row, bro. Three, eight, and eight seasons in a row. People are going to say, oh, Tony Romo didn't play on any great teams. I remember I was arguing one dude on Twitter. That's why I hate arguing with dudes on Twitter because I can't really, I can't see them face to face. I can't look them in the eye and see how they really feel because most of you are just emotional. You're just talking out of emotion. Stop being a fan. Stop bringing your emotion, putting them in your emotion. Why you be getting mad when we have debates? People be getting mad all in their feelings. Bro, chill. Set your emotions to the side, man. We're just talking sports. Go try to tell me Tony Romo has never played on a great team. You telling me that team 2007, they went 13-3? and three. You telling me that team wasn't great? When they lost to the Giants? You telling me that team wasn't great the year the Giants won a Super Bowl? You telling me that Cowboy team wasn't great? They had a bye week the first week. Second round, they played the Giants. They host the Giants. 
in Texas Stadium. Romo goes 18 for 36, 200 yards, one touchdown, one interception. And if I'm not mistaken, 2007 was one of Romo's best years. He threw for 4,200 yards, 36 touchdowns. That's debatable. That is his best season. And he rolled up in the playoffs and do that? <laughs> Story of Tony Romo's career. That. They blow Philly out. Everybody knew they was going to blow Philly out. They just beat them the week before. This was in 2009, 2010. They blow Philly out and get waxed by the Minnesota Vikings. 2015, this was Tony Romo's best year, in my opinion. Not, not, not his best year, but... Team wise, this was their best year 2015, 2014, 2015 season when you know they beat the Detroit Lions. They got away with one because they picked up the pass interference. I've never seen that happen, but they played the Packers on fourth and two. Tony Romo lets his nuts hang, throws a fade to Des Bryant. I don't know what happened after that. They said he dropped it, some people say he caught it. When I was watching the game live, I remember texting my homeboy Chase Baker, big Cowboys fan. Me and Chase both agreed he dropped it. Chase was going back and forth, but I, I, I said, I think he dropped that, bro. And this was no, no, no shade, no hate. But I didn't think they was going to call that a legal catch, and they didn't. And I give it to Tony Romo. His last two years of his career, maybe three, he, he was figuring it out. He was had the game down. He was getting better. They, they had a, a nice run game. They had the right recipe. I give him that. But he had 10 years, dog. He had 10 years to prove himself. He had 10 years to win some jury. And he went two and four in the playoffs. Since y'all want to, you know, talk about how great Tony Romo was. Here, this is his playoff numbers. Two and four. Dak's been in the league three years. Like I said, we all know what happened that second year. No Zeke. His rookie season, we know what happened. Man, he was a rookie. And like I said, they didn't lose because of him, but I'm not going to have no complaint. I'm not going to complain. He's one and two in the playoffs. But the losses wasn't his fault. He actually showed up big in those games. Cowboy fans... Appreciate Dak Prescott, man. Quarterbacks are hard to come by. You can get a quarterback that can be great. I, this is what I think the Cowboys want. This is exactly what the Cowboys want. They want a Kirk Cousins. And don't get me wrong. Like I said, I was a big fan of Tony Romo. I'm a big fan of Kirk Cousins, too. And I, I, I had Kirk Cousins back all the way up to last year, but he is who he is. He can throw a tight spiral. He can hit you on the deep fade, deep post. Just like Tony Romo could, but when you really need him to make a play, he's not going to make it. Whether he got to run for it or he got to call an audible or something or he got to, you know, throw a pump fake and, and, and run somebody over, he's not going to make the play. And that's exactly what Tony Romo was. That's exactly what the Cowboys want. This is all I hear. He can't throw. He missed too many throws. Damn it, he's winning games. Who cares? You guys don't know how to appreciate nothing. You had, damn it, you had Tony Romo 10 years, 10 years of straight bullshit, up and down seasons, inconsistent, and, and you guys are missing him? Sometimes I'm blown away listening to you guys. It's why I don't like you guys. I don't like the Dallas Cowboys fan base. you fair fair weather fans. you front runners. You're delusional, emotional. There's no love for you over here at Dex View. None. Dak Prescott, like I said, they will retire Dak Prescott number before they retire Tony Romo number. If they retire Tony Romo number, if he get any kind of accolades, it's because of Jerry Jones, punk ass, and we know that. If they ring of honor him or anything, it's because of Jerry Jones. What did Tony, that's when, when people were saying Tony Romo is Hall of Fame, I was like, how? How is Tony Romo a Hall of Fame? He's never been first team or second team or third team All-Pro. 
Actually, he was once. I think in 2014, he was. He was all pro quarterback. He's never been in the MVP race. He hasn't been to an NFC championship game. He's never he's never put up astronomical numbers. Like what does how why how, Tony Romo does not deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. He, he, I don't see why I don't see what the fuss is about. Cowboy fans, stop it. Let it go. Let Tony Romo go. That was that was the past. You guys should be happy, you know, the, the route you guys are on right now. Young quarterback, he's winning. You guys are just getting greedy. Stop being greedy, man, and appreciate this shit right now. I'm a big fan of Dak Prescott. I like Dak Prescott. He's a winner, and he got some nuts, and that's something Tony Romo never had and he never could get. This is Dak's view, man. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Dak's view.